Hey reader friends, today on your choice board I wanted to introduce you to a new series that I've purchased for our library. The series is called Diary of a Pug and this is actually the second title in the series, Pugs Snow Day. The author is Kyla Mayo and she is also the illustrator. This book was published by Scholastic in 2020 and the premise of it is the pup is writing a diary and we are reading what the pup is expressing in his diary. So I thought I'd read you just a couple of chapters and you can see if maybe this is the series that you'd like to read on your own. Here we go. Cute little thing, isn't he? All right, so we have this one, this one, and this one in our library. So be on the lookout for those. They're going to be in the M's because the last name of the author starts with M. Lots of chapters, eight chapters, but they're short chapters, so it's going to be a quick read. Lots of pictures, too, to make it fun. I dress to impress. Oh, my goodness. This pup gets around with his outfits. Cutest pug on the planet. Hmm. Chapter one, Chance of Snow. Sunday. Dear Diary. Baron Von Bubbles here, but everyone calls me Bub. It's been a while since my last entry. I've been pretty busy. Here are some things to know about me. I always dress to impress. Some people say I'm the cutest pug on the planet. I make many different faces. Huh, happy to see Bella face. Really have to go out face. Worried face, nervous face, also known as the I just farted face. Sorry. Face for Duchess. Sometimes it's just easier to let her have her way. Duchess, you know that's my favorite chair. Meow, not anymore, Bubbykins. Ugh, Duchess, can you believe she calls me that? It's because she knows it annoys me. Here's my face for nuts. He's always trying to get the best deal. I can help you if you give me the jar. You can have one spoonful nuts. Here are some of my favorite things. Bear, peanut butter, and weekends with Bella. You know what is not my favorite? getting wet. When my human Bella first brought me home, I jumped into a bubble bath with her. But ee, there was water under the bubbles. Ugh. Bella laughed so hard. That's how I got my name, by the way. I used to avoid the rain, too, even when I had to go out to do my business. But Bella fixed that. She built me a rain shelter and gave me a raincoat and umbrella. But there's one more thing I dislike. Can you guess what it is? Wet kisses. Yuck! There's only one person I don't mind kisses from. That's Bella. She means the world to me. She adopted me when I was a pup. It was love at first sniff. I just love you. What is that yummy smell? Mmm. Sundays are my fun days. Bella and I play in the yard all day. Bella never gets tired of throwing sticks. Throw me this one next. Please, please, please. Oh, Bubby, that's a really big stick for you. Today, while we were playing, the air got cold. Then... Bella pointed at the sky. Look, Bub, it's snowing. Ugh, snow? What's that? Hmm, diary. I'm not sure how I feel about snow. Bella loves it, but she also loves baths, and you know how I feel about water. Hmm, please let there be a snow day tomorrow. Ugh. I love Bella, so I guess I wish for snow, too. Hmm. 
Chapter 2 Snow Cold Monday Dear Diary You won't believe it. My wish came true! It's a snow day! No school! Oh, what time is it? Oh. This morning, Bella woke me up. That never, ever happens. She was so happy and loud for so early in the day. Of course, I was over the moon that I got an extra day with Bella. Come on, Bubby. Let's go for a really long walk. Ugh. Yippee. Duchess gave me a look like she knew something I didn't. Meow. You know snow is frozen water, right? Meow. Well, but the diary, you know how much better I am with water now. Plus, uh, snowflakes look tiny. How bad can they be? Also, meow, snow melts when it lands on you. Well, I'm not worried. But I got a little nervous as we headed out the door. Bella gave me baby booties to wear. Oh, can you imagine? Those booties will keep your paws toasty warm, bub. Oh, I hope none of my friends see me in these. I was right to be worried, but not about the booties. Snow is the worst. Come on, bub. You'll warm up as soon as we start moving. <laughs> Diary, I wasn't just cold. I slipped. I crashed. I sank. The final straw came while I was sniffing the icy ground. My nose stuck to the ice. I was stuck. Bella had to rescue me. Oh, here, Bubby. My warm hands will melt the ice. Luckily, Bella stopped our walk after that. She wrapped me up and carried me home. My poor Bubby. Ugh. I hope today was my first and last snow day. I was so happy to be going home that I didn't notice the moving truck parked outside our house. But Bella did. Look, Bub. Uh, we're not moving, are we? Then I really panicked. This day was getting worse by the minute. Hmm, well, what do you think so far, guys? That was the end of the first two chapters. Chapter three is Snow Happy. And if we flip through the rest of the pages, looks like more of the same. The story seems to move pretty quickly. And there's lots of illustrations so you can Make good guesses about what's going on and also make your own pictures in your brain about what you think is happening. This one might be a good one for you. All right. If you're interested in this one, look in the fiction in the M's for Mayo. That's the author's last name. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed that little sample. Bye-bye.